All right, guys, here we go. Jason Barber, the educator, coming at you with Barber Builders Tutoring Academy. What I have here in my hand is the brand new September 1st, 2019, went in effect yesterday, uh, Texas State Barber Exam uh, PSI Candidate Information Bulletin. Uh, what we're going to do here today, I'm going to exemplify the new exam board in the state of Texas, barber haircut section. This is the haircut that you have to do on a new state board. It's not the same haircut as previous. So as of yesterday, September 1st, 2019, this is now how you have to do state board haircut. And you will be able to find that on the new PSI candidate information bulletin on page 15 at the haircut haircutting service. You can look here to my left. I got all the implements you need. You have your, your hair cutting bag. They're going to ask you to take your bag out and everything as, the, as, as normally you exemplify it. And you will have the implements that you need to execute the haircut. So, guys, y'all will not need your razor because they don't need your razor line, the customer, which is going to be your model at the state board. So, without further ado, I might look back at this from time to time to make sure that I'm doing each task line in order because you're going to be scored by your task lines. All right. Got my clipper and I got my all purpose comb. And God, they want you to take out at least one inch of hair. So your model has to come in that's going to be a qualified model. This model here has hair. That's at least two inches long on the sides and even longer on the top. That way we know if the model qualified for you to be able to take at least an inch of hair off. Now, what's different, the most different thing I found about this new haircut for the exam is that they're requiring you to do a freehand and if they want it, they tell you what to do in each area of the head, the nape area, Above, above the nape area, up to the parietal ridge, the side area, and on top. They tell you in the candidate information bulletin what they want done in these areas and the order they want it done in. So they do want to see you do clipper over comb. They want to see you do shear over comb. They want to see you do shear over finger on top. And they want to see you do shear over comb. Also, they want the first technique they want to see you do, which is starting here in the neck area of the head. They want to see you do the freehand technique, the freehand technique. And this now, normally in my in, in the profession, since I've been in the profession uh, over 20 years, normally barbers don't commonly use the freehand technique on straight hair. So if you have a straight hair model, it may be kind of new to you to use the freehand technique. This is what they wanted the board. And it's actually in your book where they're doing a freehand free technique on a straight hair model in your, in your uh, my lady's textbook. Now, if you take an African-American or any model that has over curly hair, and the reason why it's African-American is because that's the most common uh, nationality that has the over curly hair. So if you take them, uh, uh, over curly hair as your model, with the freehand portion will be simple for you. However, when you get around to the next portion and they want you to demonstrate your, your uh, clipper over comb, and then when they want you to just demonstrate shear over finger on top, this is where you might run into a, a little difficulty on, um, over curly hair. So you have to make a decision if you want to take over curly hair to the board or not. If you, if you figure out how to exemplify and demonstrate all the things they ask for in the candidate information board on own over curly hair model, then you can feel free to take over cur curly hair model to the board. And let's begin here. And the first step is you want to take, you want to cut freehand in, in, throughout the nape area up to your occipital area. So, 
<laughs> and freehand means that there's no guard on the clipper and that you're not you're not having the clipper behind the comb, you're not holding the hair with the comb, nothing. So it means when it says freehand, it means just that. It means freehand. Folks, y'all, they want to see some hair filing. We're going as high as the occipital area. And this is the nape area of the hair. Some things are easier on a mannequin and some things are harder on a mannequin. In this situation, the mannequin's hair is gonna stick out a little stiffer than the uh, human model. So this would be a little bit easier on the mannequin in this, on this area of the haircut. A lot of human models, would have, the hair would have been a little softer we gave you a little more, a little more uh, give, and you had to go over with more passes in order for the hair to cut. Okay. I chose to close my lever all the way up to like zero, so. So the hair won't, so, so the clipper won't push the hair. Open up a little bit and, and taper this in. Okay guys, that's the first step they're giving you, it says here, um, they're giving you thirty-seven minutes to complete this haircut. They give you thirty-seven minutes to complete this haircut. And don't forget, this is actually not the first step. The first step is to sanitize your hands, then you prepare the model for service. Then you perform your scalp analysis. They want to see you do scalp analysis. But you'll learn all of that when you take my barber builder's exam prep class. However, I'm just going to demonstrate the actual haircut itself. All right, so step four was to do what we just got through doing. It says, use freehand clipper cutting throughout entire nape area. Now, step five is use clipper over comb from the nape to the parallel ridge. 
I'm gonna change combs. This is my preference to do this comb for my clip over comb. And that is from the clip over comb from the nape to the prowl reach. Of course, I, this is the nape. So we're gonna come from here. Oh, we're gonna come from here. Where we left off, we're gonna, we're gonna do it all the way to the prowl ridge. Okay? Clip over comb. We're gonna go in by creating us a, middle, this, a, a center panel, which is going to be our guideline for both sides out. Don't forget, we're probably taking off an inch worth of hair. Right here. Setting this guideline up the center. We're coming from the nape. Still working on this center guideline. Gotta get that hair in there. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cross check my guideline right here to make sure that we're on the same, that we the, we're gonna pull your comb out. All right. I'm pretty much gonna use we're gonna use the center guideline, this panel we just created. center out. So I'm gonna work my way in section. I gotta create my center guideline and work my way from from this piece here and this piece up and this piece up. There's your guide here. It should be a go up like this, and it should be coming out pretty much even throughout. Okay. So we can we put the ass in the guideline, then we move over to the next to the next section, and we're up. Guideline section up to the top, to the top of the corral route. Okay. Now we're going to get this section. We gotta get this corner, this corner of the head. That's when it, that's when the head rounds and turns back. That's when it's, that's when that's on that curve, in that corner. Okay, now we're gonna work our way up. Guy line. Guy line.
I know we got other educators going to be looking at this. They're going to be like, oh, why are you holding the comb like that? And and then you got, why you ain't holding it like like this? So we can pitch and wiggle with the, uh, like, like if you're holding a quarter. You go in, you pitch and wiggle, you pitch and wiggle. And then you got the other educator that holds his like this. If I he was holding like this, he'll be saying, why is he holding like that? It's going to be hard on his wrist. So it's a matter of preference, guys. It ain't always what's right and wrong. It's always a matter of preference for you to get the job done. Okay. So we, we're going to check our work. We got a little edge here. This is where that head changes. It's one of four corners. You can see that right there on the corner. You got to look out for that. See? But you want to be able to go in because this is what they're going to do when they check your work. They're going, they're going to get that comb and they're going to go through that. Okay, now we got so we went from center out, and we're gonna go from center out to that right side. Okay, you started from the neck up to the priory. Okay, guys, it's gonna get tricky on these corners. Uh, when the head shape changes. Sometimes you gotta dive that nose in, get up under the hair so you can grab that hair and pull out. Check your work. So there you go. You check your work. You go on to the next section. It's a little bit left over from that nape area. You see you guys right there. That corner yard, you know, time, where the head changes shape on those four corners. Also, guys, you see me doing this where my hair is way over here in the middle of the cone. It's just, it's just old habit, but it's really good to use the first section of the, of the cone. Alright guys. So you take your work like they're gonna do when you when they ask you for your comb when they come by and you step back and raise your hand and say that you're done with that haircut. 
They gonna come by and ask you for your call. All right, guys. So we did that part. That was number five. That was the use your clipper comb from nape to priory. So we went from the nape to the priory. All right. Next section is use clipper over comb from the bottom of the sideburn area to the prior ridge. That's this area here, bottom of the sideburn area up to the prior ridge. Okay. There we go. Come, sometimes it get kind of odd if you're, if you're right handed when you get to this side. But since this hair is so long, you can just come here and cut some of this hair out. Get some of this, get some of this hair out your way. Okay? Just make sure you don't cut too much to where you're gonna be uneven later on. Now, once you get down to here, for those who, if, if the side brown, from the bottom of the side brown, you wanna pull that comb out. Okay. Get the guy like right here, right there. There. Okay. Now, don't forget, y'all, we have the guy line here. And we're going to go from the sideburn up to the prior ridge. Also, guys, what you can do if the hair is pretty long on top, you can take some of that hair and push it out your way. Even if you need to, even if you need to grab your water, kind of, you ain't got to drench it. And kind of dump that hair because you, because next you're gonna cut the top anyway with the scissors and you're gonna wear it anyway. So you don't want to get, get this too wet. Make the clippers work harder. Get that hair out your way. Come up the sideburn. Okay. Okay. You don't want to go this low up here. It's up to the prior reach. That's here. You stop. Because you want to use this to connect the top when you get around to doing the top of the hair. So you just wanna, that's it. All right, I gotta do the other side. Once again, guys, uh, and, and ladies, when I say guys, I'm talking uh, male and female. You wanna come in here from the side branch. You can tilt it to the angle, like you like I was. You can tilt to the angle when you get around by these sideburns and around the ears, diagonal. That'll help. And so when you get here, you want to pick up back on your guideline where you left out. See that? All blending in. All blending. Okay. Okay. Dampen the hair. 
little bit. Get some of that hair out your way. Slide down again. Up to the Parallel Ridge. Check that haircut. All right. Now, your next step is finger over shear to cut the top area. Okay, guys. Here we go. Here we're going to grab our uh, water bottle. Some water through the tire. You don't want your model dripping wet, but you do want a consistent uh, amount of hair, I mean water, moisture going through throughout the hair. Use your comb to distribute that water equally through the hair. If you see any dry spots, you go and hit it. See, but you don't need, you ain't got to dish the floor. going to use, we're going, to, we're going to start by creating a center, center parting down the middle, about uh, just a little less than an inch and a half wide, it's right, right over the bridge of the nose, what we're going to do, we're going to part that hair. And you'll part it on both sides like that. Okay. Then you're gonna get your you're gonna cut this hair. Pull this hair up. And this is going to be your guideline for the whole top. You're going to create your original guideline, your initial guideline here. Okay, this is hair. Okay, we do. We're going to take off, they want at least an inch off. So you're going to take a less, a little more than an inch off. piece of that for my guide as I move along. So once I put my fingers up to the previous guide, then my fingers become the cutting line. Grab some more hair. Fingers become the cutting line. Some more hair. Now, when you get here, guy, you gotta be kind of careful. If, 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 if the hair was shorter, a little bit shorter than this, say, right, this piece is already shorter, so I would angle my fingers to connect with that because this is where the round of the head starts, the head changes shape. Okay, now we've got our center parting parted so we can comb all of this back. Now, we remember that we had an inch and a half from the bridge of the nose, out from the bridge of the middle, bridge of the nose. So we can go right in the, we can create a parting right in the center of that. So now that means that you're, you're parting that hair down the center of your, 
initial guideline. So basically you're splitting your guideline in half and you're putting half your guideline on the right side of the, of the head and you're putting the other half of your guideline on the left side of the head. All right, my roots are dry, so I'm gonna give it a little water. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand behind the client. Since the short part of the guideline is here, I'm gonna come from my right to my left by doing the model's left side first. So, as we see here, this hair that was pulled over to the side earlier was previously cut when I was doing a clipper over comb. And that's because I didn't create a horseshoe party and put this hair out the way, the hair from the top in the beginning. So, what I can do here is I can just make sure, here's you see my guideline here. Make sure my guidelines, that the hair is clipped with my guideline. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a piece of that I just clipped. Part the hair I just cut out the way. Grab some more hair for the next section. And get the hair behind it out of my way. So I'm gonna put, pick this hair up. And I'm gonna cut with the grid guideline that I cut first here. And that's our little piece that I gotta cut. Don't worry about over here, guys, because we gotta come back around and connect that hair. So I'm gonna a little piece of this guy, uh, which I really don't need, actually. All it does is give me two guidelines, because I have this guideline. Guys, I'm gonna change colors so I get a little more attention. And that initial guideline right there. As I cut, we can calm that down. We're gonna split what we just cut, get it so we can make, get a, a piece of that, take a piece of that traveling guideline when it's, as we part off another section to cut. Get the other guidelines behind it. But we, 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 we use our initial guidelines, so we're just coming from here to here. Uh, we can get a piece of that guideline. Push that hair. That's already cut it out of the way. Get another section. I'm just going to work our way all the way back like this. And guys at the board, when you palm your shears like this, they wanna see you palm your shears, they wanna see you transfer your comb. However, when you're doing it, when you palm your shears and you're grabbing your comb, they don't wanna see these shears come open like this. If them shears happen to come open, they're gonna take off points because you didn't maintain safety precautions, procedures throughout the process. <coughs> Grab a little bit of this. We're working our way around, guys. Grab a little of that guide. And don't forget, the initial guideline is here in the center. We're going to grab a little of that. Now we're going a little down because the, going around the head because, the, don't forget, the, the shape of the head changed when we got here. So I have to have my cutting line the same as my parting line. Yeah. Okay, now, this is our guide. 
but we don't forget we were changing the uh, elevation of the head is, is going down and that, that hair was already shorter so you got here and here on both sides you see so we're going to connect them okay we're going to grab part of that straight back push this out the way don't forget this is our vertical that we did earlier as you can see right here that's short that's part of that down there so all this you want to bring your fingers up and just connect that down we can get a piece of that a piece of the guy uh guideline but don't forget we have a guideline from this side now we're coming around to this side see I'm gonna work around here I'm gonna work around, I'm gonna work around the head that way my guideline from that center is still coming from the right y'all see it right here right there and this is her that was already down here short so you can go from here to here to connect that hair that. All right. now we really don't have to get part of that hair right because we have our other guideline but sometimes it's good to just get a piece of that so you have a guideline in the back and a guideline coming from the side here and then you want to get your new panel to cut Push that hair out the way. You pull this hair up. You want to hold the hair out from where it grows. This hair grows that way. This hair here. You can see you got the initial guideline here that we cut when we did our center parting guideline. And this hair is short that was already hanging on the side. You're going to connect them here. That down, get a piece of that, push the rest out the way, get you a new panel here, push the rest of that out the way, pull this hair up, this hair up. There's a guideline, so you're gonna wanna bring your fingers down a little bit because the shape of the head is angling down. So we can connect. And you get a little piece of that. Get you a new panel. All right guys, we're almost done with the top. fingers out the way we get this last section here's your, here's your, your guide the guide that was behind it and your initial guide over here Now we want to check the top. So we did horizontal partings when we cut the hair initially. So if you want to check the top, you can go back through here doing 
our vertical problems check right here. You can, this is how you do clean up. You can clean up work from the top. Just a little bit clean up. Yes, yeah, that's where your hair drops down. Yeah, not too bad. Just cut it out. Not too bad. Yeah, just a little clean up from there to there. All right, not too bad. You can see a little clean up there. Guys, it's good for you to do this cross check for yourselves because this is what the, the, the raider is going to do. The person that's scoring you are going to go through here, they're going to ask you can you borrow your comb, and they're going to do this. If they see too much stuff, then they're going to take off points. Still went back and check, cross check both of these. Okay. And when you do your cross check, you want to make sure you got even tension when you're pulling that hair up, so you're not getting a false reading. Started here, worked our way all the way around on the top of the head. And that was uh, number seven, which was use finger and shear to cut top area. Now, use arc, arching uh, technique. At that time right there, they want you to edge your, edge your model hair over the ears. Now come look close, you see that this hair is hanging over the ears, but they want that edge up to come. You want they want that edge up to protrude over those ears. See that? That's what they're looking for. That hair was hanging over the ears, but they want they want that off. They want no hair hanging over the ear. They want that that arch over the ears when you do your lineup. That's what they want to see. Do your lineup. Okay. Now they're gonna be checking to see if the haircut is blended. They're gonna be checking to see if the haircut is balanced. It means the same on one side as it is on the other. Use your mirror if you like to make sure your, that your stuff is balanced. Oh. 
So that's the says arching, and with the arching over the ears. But on the CIDs, it's going to say use arching technique. It's not going to tell you what it is. But your book tells you what it is. So they, they, that's about the new CIB. The new test is really expecting you to know certain things already. And they just want you to implement it and apply it. Now, the next technique says ensure a haircut is blended using shear over comb. But before I do that, um, before I went to the arching technique, since they didn't tell you to do it as part of the haircut, when I came around here with the top, we want to come back around here and on the way back around and connect the sides and the top. Yeah, we came, we worked from the left to the right, that way, around way around, when we are doing the top. So when we're connecting it, we're working right our, the opposite direction back around. All you guys probably looking, oh, he's cutting past the second knuckle. The book doesn't say don't cut past the second knuckle when you're doing shear over finger. It says don't cut past the second knuckle when you're doing palm to palm cutting. But I don't know, if this, if this helps you, it'd be a good safety thing for you not to cut past the second knuckle either way, that's fine. back around for a recap we went the, we went that direction from left around to the right when we were cutting the top and then we worked we right back around the opposite direction to connect the top to the sides
So the step I'm just reading while I go, it was, the next step was to ensure her cut is blended using sheer sure overcome. Okay. Now I'm going back to this comb. I'm just going to do sheer sure overcome in panels to make sure I run my comb up if I see anything. I run my comb. See anything to be blended. First, I'm gonna go off and cut the long pieces that may be hanging over that's not blended in. And then if I see just to fine tune it, I'm gonna go back with my blending. <coughs> my blending shears. To ensure that is blended. <coughs> Bending shears to soften the edges of, ends of that hair up, gives it, gives it a little more uh, a visual blend to the eye. And you will step off the haircut from different angles and look at it off offside, off center. So you can see what's you know, I know they say you work in front of you. You put your work you work your pound in front of you. But sometimes in order to see certain things you can't see everything when it's directly in front of you. So you can see something and you might want to just put it back in front of you to get it, but you can't see it. So sometimes you got to get it from over there where you're seeing it at, from that angle. You see what I'm saying? See what you can find. And don't forget, y'all, I'm not just making this stuff up as I go. I'm following the task line set out, set forth in, in the candidate information bulletin that they're going to hold you to in the CIB. I mean, in the PSI testing for your exam before you get your license. doing I'm doing the task line number nine says ensure haircut is blended using sure will come now it didn't say which kind of shear so I use both my my, uh, my regular shears and my blending shears to ensure that the haircut is blended okay See what's next. It says, ensure haircut is balanced. So this is the last part of the haircut. It's not, it's not the last part of the haircut section, but it's the last part of the haircut. So you want to look at it head on. And one of the best ways to get ensure balance and symmetry in a haircut is when you step off of it and look at it head on. So let's get our camera person. Uh, my daughter, Miss Kaylee, helped me out here. 
and zoom in head on and let's let people see how balanced the haircut is or how balanced it may not be. Okay, and then zoom out slowly. Okay, I'm gonna spin the chair. I'm pretty sure it's not perfect. It could be me or it could be because it's a mannequin. I'm gonna blame it on the mannequin if it ain't perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I'm gonna show that it's balanced. So the, the last part of the haircut is to sweep up and to ensure that my work area is clean. So what I would do, I'm gonna put it up almost up. Now y'all won't have this at the test, so you're gonna have to memorize this step. So I'm gonna put up almost up. I'm gonna sweep up. I don't see anything about you guys brown down with antiseptic or astringent. So if you're gonna get from me, it may not be your cutting bag. Y'all see I left hair on his ears? They okay, might take out points for They say be sure that the model is clean. And that you swept up and cleaned up your area. That's before you let. You got 37 minutes to do all this. You got to do all this in 37 minutes. And I, trust me, this running tutorial, I try to do it a little faster so I can make sure my 37 minutes would be done. Okay. And so all that the end. Creep up here. So don't take too much time cleaning your model out or putting stuff on. Stuff ain't got to be needed. You can get neat when you get back to the house. You to put the stuff up. So basically, when they come back, the station needs to be clear. All they need to be there is the water bottle that came in your pre exam setup. And they're going to provide a broom for you. Clean the area. And you get the board. Say make sure you got your haircut done in 30 minutes and use seven minutes to clean up. That's what I recommend. Don't rush the haircut, take your time, use your full 30 minutes, and use seven minutes to clean up. Don't leave your hair in the dustpan. Make sure you dump your hair out of the dustpan. Do not leave your hair in the dustpan. Back over, stand behind your model, raise your hand, and that's the ready, signifying the ready that you are done and you are ready to be ready. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit like, subscribe. Jason Barber, an educator. This is Barber Builders Tutoring Academy. You can book me for classes, private classes, group classes. I'll come to your school. I will do um, all your schools. You can outsource your state exam training to me. We can do business. Give me a call. I'm going to give you my personal phone number, 214-893-1684. That is my personal and my business phone number. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like.